shape path and pixels you have here fill option stroke option and you can see the stroke size you can change you have from here the line option you can either have this dotted line or this small dotted line or you can have many other features from here too and guys here on this option in shape option you have many of the shapes if you click on this setting you can see if I load here this nature pattern now I will show you if I click OK, it will load the nature patterns right here. Here I'm selecting my color to green. Hit OK and OK from here. Let's make a new layer from here and by pressing the shift button, I can make my custom shape like this. You can see the color is filled. Now I will make another shape with the help of same. Guys, I will make the grass again, once again like this. And third time, I will make the same grass again. Guys, now here, I have many other options. Like, you can see, I have many of the leaves, cars, clouds, and many other things. You can see, if I want my butterfly, passing shift button, I can make my butterfly very easily. Now I will make a new layer and I will change my color from here and I will select my custom shape. You can see let's make a custom shape again. You can see this is flawless. As you can make many of the digital paintings with the help of this. I'm changing my background. Let's have the sky blue color background. Guys, by pressing the Alt and Backspace button, you can fill the color very easily. Like this, I will take a lighter tone of this color. Press Alt, Backspace and fill the color. As you can see this, now I again go into the custom shape and let's see the other shapes. You can see you have the trees here. I can either make a tree, I want here color black, so I will make the black tree. I'm making a new layer and by pressing the shift button, let's make this. See guys, like this. If you want to position it, you can press Ctrl T and you can transform it by pressing the shift button in older versions of photoshop but in latest versions you don't want need to press the shift key guys if you want to copy this you can press alt and drag this you can see it is copying and you can press ctrl t to transform it it is super easy and super fun i'm pressing enter now let's see the other custom shape. Guys, you can either have the sun from here. If I click here and I change my color to yellow. I'm making a new layer. And by pressing the shift button, I can make the sun. Guys, you can see this is cool, but you have many other things also. And this, if you click here 
and you can either have these other shapes animals arrows artistic textures banners palm frames you can click on any of them like and click on banners and frames hit okay you can see you can have this right here this is super easy guys now i'm deleting this if i click here i can press the delete button i'm clicking here and i'm pressing delete buttons i will show you how you can make the rectangle you can see you have this fill option right here you can change the color i'm taking this blue color and the fill i'm taking to black and the stroke i'm taking to two if i make a rectangle you can see if you press the shift button you will have this curve but if you don't press the shift button you will have the rectangle in all the variants of photoshop you can see like this you can have the rectangle you can make its opacity down from here as you want as you wish same like this you can have the other tools like you have rounded rectangle left tool and polygonal tool same like this you can have this for example i'm deleting this guys see if i press shift button guys see if i press shift button and i position it you can see it will make the complete circle you can change the color from here for example i take this purple color it will fill in this very easily you can change the stroke size from here for example if i click here for example if i take the stroke to four you will see how will this look if i press enter you can see the stroke is somehow increased if i click on eight and press enter